What's going on guys, we're back once again, and we're going to be talking something a little different today. We're going to be talking about some more Saints Row, but I want to go ahead and give you guys a little twist on something. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy around Saints Row 4, obviously we all know that, but I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my take on Saints Row 4, and give you guys my personal opinion of what I would have done with Saints Row 4 if I was the uh, writer and lead developer of the companies. But obviously that's not the case, but it's just something I figure I'd go ahead and give you guys just a little bit on, give you guys my uh, thought process on this. Hope you guys enjoy this um honestly first off i'm gonna go ahead and say this there's a lot of plot holes in saints row 3 and 4 that i think the developers and the writers did not see or honestly do not really want to fix because obviously with the so-called uh death of johnny gat who was a beloved character of the franchise who still is a beloved character of the franchise i think honestly right when he died the the entire franchise just went downhill and the reason why i say that is because again he was one of the most popular characters in the franchise i also think that uh if i would have written saints row 4 again i would have had something happen uh at three possibly to indicate that he's still alive and at the same time but i also want to say that there was a lot again a lot of plot holes now again when we go into four there was issues where okay where we have matt we have uh different characters that we are working with and then we see of course pierce shawnee with you where you take on um the 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 rebel military that cyrus is leading and uh it really baffles me of how did cyrus get all this uh people to follow him especially in another country since he's an american and he was wanting to have characters follow him but we don't know how it happened we don't know why it happened and we don't know exactly when all that took place uh between the time frame of saints row 3 why he left uh stag um what happened to him was he replaced was he just uh just like discredited or we don't know what happened and we also know that right when the uh the character the main antagonist protect our character the player we don't know if uh how i mean because of course we know he was in office for over four years but i would have had it he would have been in office for a couple years he's using all his resources and then of course let's let's say zinniac attacks does the same thing but we have a longer process of Zenyak taking the characters we don't have oh takes all the characters then takes you I'd rather have where he attacks everyone fights him off he retreats to a certain degree and then lays a full siege on earth and then he does abduct you at some point in the game and you're able to escape but you're able to go into the virtual reality as well as also go out of the virtual reality and still go back to earth if you so choose to lead your saints as well as the military and forces against the Zen Empire. I personally thought that would be a great idea. I don't think that, oh, destroying Earth should have been in the game. Maybe at the very end of the game that could have been an option, but not so quickly and early in the game because I think that's what really drew me away. It was like, okay, uh, you just killed Oleg, you just killed Viola, you just killed every one of the saints that could have been helping us. You could have something and it really really just made no sense to me of why that the writers did that because yeah you're going in a virtual reality system you're gonna have superpowers okay cool but it gets old after a while don't you want to have where you're able to do regular stuff that we did one through three in reality where well reality in the game where you're able to go up against aliens where you're able to go up against this and not be able to just use space weapons which honestly i didn't care for the space weapons i think the space weapons honestly sucked i didn't like them i when we had to do missions that were that was in reality right when uh kenzie gets uh kidnapped in a certain way and we also see where uh matt and asha are knocked out and johnny and you have to go on to the spaceship that's attacked attach itself onto your ship and fight i don't really care for that mission because i think the, the the weapons that they give you are just really boring and stupid but at the same time i, I find that mission just a little bit interesting but i found it better if it, we were actually using real weapons and not some type of space weapons like it could give you 
the option. You didn't have to go full force of, okay, well, Earth is gone. This is what we got to do. I wouldn't have done that. I would have had where you could have gone and you've left maybe some of your lieutenants down onto Earth, such as Ole could be looking over everything or, or somebody that you trust is in the game and you actually know they can lead in your absence as well as also report to you every so often like hey uh this is what's going on or this is what's being said or this is what's going on every like couple chapters or every chapter depending on what happens but again they did not give you that option i wish they did uh also let's talk about the powers powers that could have been at the very end uh, I wouldn't have been in virtual reality all that much. Uh, virtual reality, give it to a certain degree. Uh, of course, introduce uh, Matt as a uh, ally, Asha as an ally, but also bring back more allies that we had throughout the last few games. I mean, of course, bring back Mayor Reynolds, um, Viola, uh, some of the other characters from Three. Uh, just different ones that I think could have been a lot better if the writers would have given more respect to the franchise and also give shoddy an attitude adjustment but like also give where it kind of gets said well don't you want to know what happened to your friend johnny like real early on in the game to be like okay wow johnny's alive you know or or have it hinted at at three but again they didn't do that they they really played with our emotions and i and i hated the way they did that and i think that the franchise needs to have a lift off and honestly i know Four cannot be redone, but honestly, I think it possibly needs to have a, uh, a rewritten at some point because it did not it did not do it for me. I, there was a lot about it I love and I hate, and honestly, I think there's a lot more about the series that can either be redone or be fixed somehow, some way. But those are just my theories, guys. I, I just wanted to do a possible uh, theory on what I wanted to do with saints row uh four if i would have written it hope you guys enjoyed that i wasn't trying to give you guys a full length video of what i could have possibly done i think it could have been just a little bit better if maybe the writers did something a little different again i was kind of rambling on what i would have liked to see but let me know what you just guys think about this in the comments down below if you guys need a channel to say about subscribing links in the description below if you guys want to go ahead and comment if you do let me know what you guys think of the possibility of me doing this what would you guys like to see in saints row 4 if it was rewritten um if you guys are new to the video always click, leave a big fat like on the video it helps me out helps you guys out so that way more of the audience can grow onto the channel and we can also have a great conversation in the comments so let me know what you guys think and i'll see you in the comments